Okay, so hello everyone. So some of my subscribers have asked me that maybe I should consider trying to make a tutorial on how to do modeling. So I guess here it goes. So basically, uh, for my example, in this video, I'm going to try and um, copy the armoring or texturing pattern I gave my King Arthas model to the night model. So, again, uh, I'm using uh, the Warcraft 3 model editor by Magos. Okay, so first things first, let's save this data as a new file. Oh, so uh, before we begin, this is my night model. So basically what I did is it's already combined the portrait with the in-game model. So basically any changes I make to this model is already reflected in the portrait as compared to the original model within the uh, in-game files. Okay, so first things first, let's save it as a new data. So let's call it Knight Silverhand version 1 is that MDL okay so, so uh, the number the main textures I used for my King Arthas model are the um, here the captain and the user texture so you can find this at the MPQ browser go to the warcraft3.mpq so under units humans you will find user so uses texture and then you will find under the folder the captain the captain okay so here you go this is the skin used by Uther and this is the skin used by the captain so basically those are the skins I mainly used for my King Arthas model now okay so mind you, the models used by Blizzard uses the so-called .mdx um, file type, but uh, for the other uh, model, uh, what do you call this, the vertex editor, we need to um, convert the file to the .mdl file type. So again, this is the MDL vertex modifier. Oh, by the way, um, the links for these um, programs are in the description. Okay, so anyways, so let's open it. Oops, let's go to Knights. Knights. Okay, so you will be asked to look for geosets. I'll just explain as I go. Uh, anyways, so you have basically it says that this model has 10 geosets and we're going to look for the geoset that represents the body of the rider okay so as you can see here basically um the first geoset basically represents the geoset containing the rider so if you go back to the magos model editor and hold control and then left click there you can see it's basically says that that's one geoset and it happens to be the first one so after opening this G, uh, this geoset in the mdl vertex modifier let's save geoset and then let's uh, hmm, let's use it dummy mdl okay now after saving a save geoset, immediately be save, but this time save as dummy. Okay, so after which, open the file again, dummy. So okay. as you can see, uh, it automatically goes to this geoset. And then if you hold control, then press A and click vertex selection, you will see that the rigging is preserved. Now, if you were to open this dummy file in the Magos model editor, you will see that basically this is the part of the model that has been separated from the rest. Now, we only want to edit the rider. So what we're going to do now is we're going to the delete the portions of the horse. So again, go back to the MDL vertex modifier, dummy, then click. 
then we're going to delete the portions representing the horse leaving only the rider okay I save now I'm going to reopen it see now the night so as you can see here dummy now only represents the rider now let's go back to the original model the one knight silver hand version one first now this time we're going to do the opposite we're going to delete the human portions Delete, 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 hmm, delete, hmm. Okay, and then save. Now open the original file, Knight Silver Hand. So as you can see, the knight is no longer present. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring back this portion piece by piece while making the edit so that the armor would look like... Uh, rather look similar to the one with the Arthas Menesil King okay so first things first now in my Arthas King model or King Arthas model um, the gloves already use the same texture as the knight so technically we can separate the portion Okay, and then we're going to delete the rest and then we're going to save this as a new file. And then let's call this gloves. Always make sure you always use save as. And then if we go back to the um, first geo set of the night model, we're going to merge geo set and then click on gloves so if we open the file again you will now see that the gloves have been returned again, again because we're not going to change it for this example so next now that it's back in the model you can delete it and then you can go back to the dummy oh, oops go back to the dummy and now you can delete the arms because we no longer need it the arm portion can now be deleted in the dummy file now since we're not going to edit the head we can i suppose bring it back as well so let's focus on the head now we're going to delete the rest of the body but keep the head okay, let's save this head dot mdl so we're going to delete the body leaving only a head Uh, we're gonna delete the neck portion as well because if you notice in my King Arthas model the neck has been uh, kind of part armor
okay so let's check the head again again now as you can see we can bring this back to the original model so knight silver hand so first geo set merge geo set head again you can open z knight silver hand model there so the gloves and the head have been returned but the rest of the body not yet so let's go back to dummy now we're going to delete the head because again we no longer need it Again, you can delete the head. Okay, so now the dummy is only composed mostly of the armor and the rest of the body. Hmm. Now, if you look at my model, um, the size of the pauldron also. Um, kind of resembles what I did with the King Arthas model anyway so I guess we can bring that back but first I suppose we can start with the actual changing of the armor so first things first let's start with the pauldron done okay so let's okay then we save that as a new file hmm, let's call it poidro let's put poldron team color trust me on this one for now and then save now if you reopen the poldron team color so as you can see here we have the poldron now this time we're going to rewrap it so if you hold control and press left click, you will go to the materials and then so you have knight. We're gonna put cup uh, the texture for the captain instead. Set it to blend and then create new uh, for team because it's team colored put replaceable ID one unshaded, then move the replaceable ID one upwards so that the captain texture is below okay so then save now what we're going to do is we're going to do what we call a rewrap so again we open the poldrum team color and then go to uv mapping and then load image so i've already prepared it um, so in order to extract these images um, go to textures click the texture you want to extract export then save it as a jpeg file okay okay as you can see here so as you can see here this is the pauldron part what we're going to do is we're going to make it similar to the pauldrons of making art as model so for example okay <coughs> excuse me uh, So you have three boxes here so basically the pauldron this is the pauldron at um, different points of view so this is from the top this is from the front and this is from the side so what we want is basically so you can choose how to remap it initially let's use the top then remap so as you can see it's similar to the top from the top that's how it looks like now we're going to reorient the pauldron and then since it's kind of like a mirror image what you're gonna do is we're going to put this one here and this one here now, now in the captain